Hi everybody. Today I've uh, hiked up to the northeast end of the Liberty Fire. So this hillside over here, I think you can see the Foscheck line, the red line at the bottom of that hill. So it burned on the other side of that hill, which I'm going to drive around. I think you can see the fire trucks are still down in there. And they're getting ready to put this as Clinton Keith Road. Clinton Keith Road off of the uh, 215 at Whitewood. And they're getting ready to develop this area and put Clinton Keith Road all the way through, probably down to Winchester Road. So I got this guy over here asking if I can film. He's got the park closed. I just want to make sure it's okay that I'm filming him. Yeah, okay. I'm getting permission here. So they've uh, saved this whole park. They used this park as a staging area last night. They're packing up their bulldozers that probably worked all night. Cutting fire lines. And there's a fire cat right there. D1 fire cat. It's all enclosed for the smoke. Or from Orange County. Came out here from Orange County, California to help cut that fire line last night. So I was just told they're leaving here and heading over to Bonzel to help with the lilac fire and cutting fire lines there. So all right, let's head on down around and see what else we can find. You can see this truck is a pretty pink and so is that camper. But they saved all these homes. That whole hillside burnt. So I'm going to get out of their way real quickly. They're coming down out of there. So I'm out of the way of the truck. Coming down here. from Nevada. Thank you guys, thank you. That truck was from Nevada. Up there helping with the fire last night. There's a fire crew sitting on that ridge still working right there. How they saved that house on top of there, no idea. And over here is still smoldering. So they're probably still putting out hot spots. Look, they saved that house right there. Fire burned all the way around it. And then they're up here restoring power on those power poles. And look, they dumped a bunch of Foscheck drop right there to save that house. This is where the fire started. And since this is why they named it the Fire Liberty Fire. So I'm at the corner of Liberty Road and Los Alamos. And there goes another Edison truck restoring power. There's a power substation right here and I'm not in a truck today so I'm not gonna head out this way. It says it's not a city maintained road, private road, but out there, right out there is where the fire started. Here it is December 8th and 80 degrees still. So I was told they only lost one structure in this fire which is amazing. So I hope everyone else is safe in all the fires that are going on out there. Uh, this is going to be the end of my video. Take care. Be safe. Bye for now.